Would you absolutely believe it? Great fishing. We go again. Welcome to another episode of Essex Forage and Fishing. Thank you for joining me on this one. We're in January and the place are here. So I'm off down south. Couldn't say no really, could I? Let's go. Okay, so obviously the sun is, well, coming up. It's pretty much, it's 10 to 8. The journey's taking me an hour longer than expected. Obviously Monday traffic, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm running late. I am meeting Reese, the fish hunter, at this place, Brighton. I've put in the sat nav. Um, Banjo groin. Banjo groin I've put in my sat nav, Brighton, and that is where it's taking me. And we're gonna be fishing the beach. We were gonna do the, um, we were gonna fish the marina, but they, they opened on Saturday and Sunday, but they're not opening it during the week, just the weekend. So we were going to the marina, but now we're going to the beach, which is just off it. So, I mean, there's place being caught off the beach as well. Yeah, that's all I've got to tell you, really. Right, guys, okay, we're at Brighton. There's Brighton Pier there, Brighton Marina over there, there's Reese. Both rods are out with my place rigs that I made the other day, hoping they'll work. On one of them, there's two, two common lugworm on there, on the other one, I've got two ragworm. Nice and simple, really. There were a lot of place caught here yesterday, looking at Facebook and stuff like that, even on the uh, the marina wall which is over there and loads on the beach as well mid-afternoon with the tide coming up so that's what we're hoping for hopefully it'll pick up in the next few hours um yeah that's pretty much it ladies and gents as you can see I don't even... there are you're gonna focus there we go lots of boats Yeah, there's one right in the background there. One over there. There's loads of boats everywhere. Well, there were about seven. They've all seem to have disappeared now. This is a huge, huge sandbank. And this is where we're going to get the place. Right. I'll see you in a minute with the fish, guys. Fingers crossed. Hello, guys. Right, so, pretty much a bit quiet at the moment. Baits I'm using today. Got some ragworm there getting a bit low now, lugworm, and this is some wraps. It is a bit, bit, bit quiet at the moment. Tide is coming in, there's nothing else to report. Matey over there, about four anglers over is catching. At the moment we're not, but you know, we've got about two and a half hours to a high tide. So hopefully we'll see it pick up. But yeah, so far guys, nothing really to report I'm afraid. It's a little bit quiet. So as you saw from the videos of me making some rigs, obviously here's one of them basically a two hook flapper. These are my beads with the sequins on them and two o hooks. Five ounce lead with grippers. I do have one out at the moment without them on and uh, this is the other the other hook as well which goes under the weight at the moment. Obviously I'll rebate that in a minute when I'm about to bring one in uh, but yeah waiting on some place like I said they are catching them down there but we're still just waiting really uh, parking wise parked on the main road really the main promenade I don't even know the road and all day parking for 24 hours it was eight pound 60 uh, so I paid it yeah obviously over there Here's the marina wall. 
That's the east or the west side. I don't know which way it is. I think it's the west. And across there is the pier. Yeah. So first time in Brighton. Um, took me absolutely ages to get here. Probably about three hours. And it should have taken two. Uh, first views of Brighton, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it was horrible getting here. Um, yeah, I don't really like Brighton at all. Hopefully the fishing's good. At the moment it's not. But let's hope it picks up. Uh, yeah, travelled light again. Didn't need to, the car's only over there. There's me box. Sonic SKA Blacks. And me blue Shakespeare salt rod. Rod rest. Yeah, nothing to report guys, sorry about that, but um, hopefully we'll see you with some fish very, very shortly, I hope. Hello everyone, as you can see, no fish. However, I will put a little picture of uh, Reese getting a place. That was 32, 33 centimeters. So, and now he's just caught another one at 32. Um, so the place are about, everyone's catching. I've come to the conclusion is that I need to learn to cast further simple really all these boys can cast a good distance I'm probably about 20 30 30 yards short of how they're casting but they're catching I'm not we're using the same bait same rigs I have gone on to Reese has given me one of his rigs so I can try and cast it a bit further which has worked I have casted an extra 10 15 yards to what I can normally cast so fingers crossed on that uh, he's given me some of his blacks as well fingers crossed there are place here, but at the moment I'm the only sod that ain't caught. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, so far not great for me. However, we have seen a place, and uh, I'll put that picture back in the thing just in case you don't see me catch one. So that's the end of that session. I blanked. Reese got two. Over there, there was four of them. And they got 40. 40. So in other words, we weren't fishing the right spot. The right spot was around about here. Just there. Okay, so next time I come, this ain't the end of the video because I'm going to come again. I don't know when, maybe in a week or so. Um, and not fish this side of the banjo, which is just here. When it focuses, there we go, sort of. Okay, that's the banjo anyway. The banjo groin. We'll go on the other side. Same baits, same up and overs, uh, up and over rigs, and clip down, two hook clip down rigs as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pack down, I'm gonna get rid of that worm, bin my rubbish, as you should, and I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna be back here on another day. So, yeah, hopefully in the next frame you'll see me on this beach, trying to catch a place again. And there's loads of these about, loads of dogs. And just like that, I'm here again. Pretty much two months, two months on from when I was last here. Sun's out, the wind is around about oh, 10 mile an hour. East, northeast, sorry, southeast. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's a marina. We are the other side of the steps like last time. Got two fishermen there. It's probably, what is the time now? Five past one. High tide is around six o'clock, so we're fishing the surge. Same rigs, I did get two clip down rigs from my local tackle supplier, Colchester Bait and Tackle. Up here, obviously, there he is. Everyone knows who he is. Reese, Fish Hunter UK. If you haven't subscribed, go and see it. Go and check him out. Um, yeah, we're here after place. And anything else that's here, but it's probably going to be place. Hopefully, I've learned from my mistakes first time round. And, uh, Oh, I think I'm getting a knock already. Fingers crossed. Sorry about the wind. Alright, I didn't bring a bivvy. Reese has got a new bivvy there, but I didn't bring one today. So, uh, hopefully this time around I've learned from my mistakes and I will get some place today to show you. So, let's see what happens. There we go. Pretty much half an hour. Done. Place. I haven't measured her. See those little bobbly bits on its head? That's how you can tell if it's a place or not. Happy days. Uh, but I'm going to say she's probably about, I don't know, 38. I will quickly measure her. I haven't got a measure on me, but I'll go to Reese's box. Happy days. Got a place. Look at the orange spots on her. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. 
absolutely chuffed. I didn't catch one last time I come, half hour. Let's hope it's many more to come. Absolutely lovely, beautiful. All right, not quite what we expected. We came here for the place. I'll put you in the sunlight, because I'm clever. All right, we'll get it back. Little schooly bass. Bass. Bass, you can only keep up to two per angler. Let's go back. There we go. And they have to be 42 centimeters long. If you're unsure and you haven't got a measurer, put it back. You can take two per session, two per angler. Yeah, happy days. It's nice to see bass again. Happy days. Right, we'll, we'll rebait. Right, some donut over there. His name's Reese. He got the tides wrong. Bless him. He said high tide was um, about half six, if I'm correct. So we got here at midday and hoping to fish the six hours up. However, high tide isn't at half six. It's a 10 to 10 tonight. So we might be staying here a little bit longer. Um, so low tide was 10 to 4. Time now is 10 past 4. So the tide is on the turn now. So I'm now, I'm now surprised that we... Um, what's he doing? Okay. Well, I'm now surprised uh, that we caught that place when we did. But now the tide's on the turn. Let's see what happens. I'm going to rebait the rods and we're going to get out there. Come on place. Place number two, a lot smaller this one. I'm gonna get her back. Look at the orange spots on her. Absolutely beautiful fish. See the bumps there? Absolutely beautiful. That was on my two hook clip down rig. I don't know if you can see that. Two hook clip down rig with ragworm. Dead old smelly ragworm, but it worked. Let's get her back. I haven't got my waders on. But all in all, my second place. Obviously the bass as well. Oh, them orange spots are so... Camera doesn't do it justice. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get it back. Number three. A little bit bigger. Not overly big though. So I think the legal size for these is like 27, I think. I'll have to look into that, but again, way too small. Let's send her back to go bigger. Fascinating these orange spots, man. Absolutely beautiful. All right, could get her back. That again was on a two hook pick down rig, uh, but that was with uh, that was with just common lug. Common lugs on that, so I've caught two plates on commons and one place on ragworm. Happy days. There's the west side of the marina. That is open, the east side is not though because they got battered quite badly in the winds, so... In you go. And she's off. I wish I had my waders on. Had to see her swim off nicely, but... Either way, it's another fish. So that's three for me, I'm well happy. All right, we go again. Happy days. All right, the sun is still going down. I, I am reeling in. Reese said to record. I didn't think I had anything, but... What we got? Again, a very small one. There you go, place number four. We'll get her off the hook and we'll let her go. Again, two hook clip down rig, that's on common lug. Happy days. Fantastic, brilliant. Uh, guys, just a little bit of an update. Um, I did just catch a flounder. Um, I got distracted by one of the guys and getting the hook out of the mouth, I just threw it away. However, it is on the Fish Hunters video, which will no doubt be out before mine. So if you don't believe me, go and check it out. Um, I haven't changed my <coughs> the way I'm working. Oh, so I've been non-stop ever since that sun's been going down. It's a nice little sight, isn't it? Well, not up here, the sun's down. Um, yeah, uh, nothing, nothing's changed. Uh, both two hook click down rigs and with commons and ragworm. And we are going to carry on fishing. We were going to be fishing till about. Um, well, about half past six, it's quarter to six now. And, you know, I'm happy. I've got four place, one flounder, which you can see on Reese's video, and a little squally bass. So that's a nice three species. Um, 
but I don't think we're going to be done yet. Reese, well, well, we might be here till about eight o'clock, so we've got about another three, two and a half, three hours. Hopefully, we're going to see some more place. Uh, Reese ain't having the best, best session so far. He's got a gaudy bass, and he has got a place. You know, that's the target species. That's what we came for. Um, but at the moment, I'm casting a lot shorter. I can't cast far as far as Reese can. So he's experimenting now. He actually, I cast down there by the shoreline, and Reese actually cast up there from his bivy. So yeah, it's a good, I don't know, 40 yards. He can probably cast further than me. So hopefully he's found the honey hole and he can get some more place just like I have. Anyway, that's about it. Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, not a lot I can do about it. I didn't bring my bivy today. The sun has gone down. It has got a bit colder and it's getting a bit windier. However, we're having fun. And uh, hopefully I can show you some more place. <coughs> right, guys, nothing to update. However, the, the bites are still constant. We're just not getting the fish as much. Reese has just had another place. We've got another one going on in my left now, Rod. Got some rag on there, getting a little, few little knocks on that. Um, right, yeah, so this is pretty much going to be my last video for a while. Unless I do get some good content somehow. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm concentrating on the new channel. I have got a new channel name, uh, which will be changing when I launch the new channel. It's not going to be a new channel, I'm just changing the name of the channel. It still has fishing involved, but it has a lot of other different things involved, which I know, I'm hoping you guys will, will, you know, I, I know you'll be happy with it, and um, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So yeah, uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe. The, basically, obviously, yes, Essex Origin and Fishing is the name is changing. We just do fishing. Oh, there you go. There's a little, there's a little bite on the uh, the left one now, which is on the worm. Um, yeah, let's just get a close up there. See if that'll go again. Let's be the lights on the end of my rod. Anyway, there. Um, th this channel it obviously is fishing, but I, I will. There'll be other little bits other than fishing. There you go. It's just tapping away. And I've only just cast it out when because I cast it out and I started the video. Yeah, I've got a fish on there, so I'm gonna let that materialise a little bit longer. And yeah. Um, so yeah, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe because um, the channel is gonna get a lot bigger and better. I can promise you that with a lot more interesting and fun content. Without a shadow of a doubt. So I um, just want to thank you all for your support. It's just going to, it's probably going to be about three or four months because I want to get a lot of videos done, uh, pretty much, with new merch of the new name, stickers, hats, you know, you know, the whole lot. Uh, with the sib, that is a huge, huge part of this channel. Now, um, obviously, I haven't done anything yet. I'm buying. I'm looking to get a sib, um, not a sib, uh, an engine, very, very soon, and a trailer for it. So. Uh, Bring on the future thank you all very much guys for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends that rod is still going so hopefully there's another place i've got four plays so far a flounder and a bass so I'm, I'm, I'm well chuffed with the last with the last session on the essex foraging and fishing i will still be posting videos on social media on facebook and instagram so if you haven't checked out those those social media platforms give it a like or a subscribe or whatever you need to do on those Anyway, hopefully I'm going to show you a fish. I need to get some lights on because it's starting to get a little bit dark now and we're here for longer than I expected. But the fishing's been great. Right guys, um, caught another place. 38. Can you see that? There you go, beautiful. Happy again, obviously the light's gone out. See the sun's gone down. It's going to be here for about another hour. Reese has caught another place as well. They are still feeding. Oh, there we go, I need to get that picture right. So, sun's gone down. The, uh, the place is still feeding, which I didn't expect. I thought the place was more of a daytime fish. However, they're still here, and the big ones are coming. Um, Reese is still catching. It's uh, going really well so far, so hopefully I'll see you in a minute for a, with another fish. But yeah, oh, and Reese caught a white in. So that's four species for the session, which ain't bad. Found a flounder, a place, a bass, and a white. They had to show up at some time, didn't they? Especially when it got dark. Right, I'll see you in a minute. That's me, I'm packed up now. Um, that wasn't a bad session. I had fun with that. That was five plates for me, one flounder, one bass. Reese has had a selection of fish as well, including the white. However, he did have a really big fish on, uh, which snapped. Uh, he just just bit off the line. We're not sure what it was. <coughs> he said it was a place, um, but yeah, he was uh, he was a big one, which was a shame. Which was the last cast of the night. However, we're going home. That's us done. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
Um, yeah, until next time, look out for updates, like I said, on social media. Um, I'll be putting some statuses on, um, on, on YouTube as well. So yeah, um, spring is pretty much nearly here. And I've got a lot of plans. And uh, hopefully you guys can join me. Until then, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Share with all your friends and family. And I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy. As always, guys, at the end of every video, Ben, you're rubbish. Andy nice one. Andy Kanzako. <laughs> see you later.